Yo, how's it going everyone and welcome back to another smartphone gimbal review. Today I will be reviewing the Hoem iSteady V2 3-axis smartphone gimbal that has an AI sensor built in that can automatically track subjects face without any app required. So far there is no other smartphone gimbal that can do this because normally smart tracking is set up in an app and this feature can be very useful for creative productions. Now it's not always easy to find the right gimbal since there are a lot on the market out there. As I like to use my quote, there is no perfect gimbal, but there's the right one for you. And maybe this gimbal might suit your shooting needs. To give you an idea, I will show you a quick overview of the gimbal, talk about the build and design quality, walk you through on how to mount and balance the gimbal, the basic button functions, the operating modes, AI vision sensor, which is one of its highlights, the Hoem Pro app, performance, price, and my final thoughts to it. There will be a timestamp below if you want to skip or go back to a particular part of the video. With that said, let's focus our energy on this video. So here's a quick overview of the Home iSteady V2 gimbal. Starting from the top, you have the phone holder. Then on the bottom of the phone holder, you have a folding lock to keep the gimbal in place when folding it back. You have a knob to the side of the arm to tighten it when setting up the gimbal, a battery indicator and Bluetooth light, a joystick, a power and shutter button. To the side, you have a zoom slider. On the opposite side, there is a type C USB port that is used for charging the gimbal or even your smartphone. It comes with a charging cable that has an adapter that allows you to switch between USB type A to USB type C. To the bottom, you have a one quarter screw hole to mount the included mini tripod. Let's move on to the build and design of the Hoem iSteady V2. The gimbal feels high quality, it's well built and has a comfortable grip. The black design is really nice, but Hoem also has a white version of it. Very lightweight at around 259 grams and small, which makes it portable to carry around. If you have large hands, you can use the gimbal with the included mini tripod as an additional hand grip or as a stand. Because I have small hands, Asian hands, I can use it without the mini tripod and can easily access the buttons with my fingers. Speaking of buttons, there are just four of them, which I like making it not too confusing to use. Let's now look at how you can mount and balance your phone on the Home iSteady V2 smartphone gimbal. First, unfold the gimbal until the arm is vertical. Then tighten the knob so that the gimbal can work properly. Then turn the Home logo upwards and insert your smartphone. Slide the phone so that it's centered and balanced with the ground. To use the gimbal, you will have to activate it by signing up through the Hoem Pro app. Since I already did that, it automatically connects to the gimbal and I'm ready to go. Let's now look at some of the basic button functions of this gimbal. Knowing these functions is important to shoot more efficiently. To turn on and off the gimbal, just long press the power button. To change between landscape and portrait mode, press the power button once or use hand gestures, which we'll look at later. To recenter the camera, double press the power button. Use the joystick to adjust the direction of the camera. Press the shutter button to start and stop recording. The shutter button also works with the native camera app and third-party apps like Filmic Pro. Just make sure to be connected with the gimbal via Bluetooth. Double pressing the shutter button will switch between photo and video mode in the Hoem Pro app. Triple press the shutter button to switch between the front and rear camera in the Hoem app. Triple press the power button will go into inception mode, which will rotate the phone automatically. Use the zoom slider to zoom in and out in the Hoem app. Let's now look at the operating modes. To change the operating mode, you could either do that in the Hoem Pro app or using the buttons by press holding the shutter and clicking the power button to cycle through each mode. This again is great for not having to depend on an app. There are four types of modes. You have the pan and tilt follow, which I use most often and follows my hand movement with the roll motor locked. Then you have the pan follow where only the rotation of the pan is unlocked. Then you have the all lock mode where all motors are locked. And last, the POV mode where all motors, pan, tilt, and roll are unlocked to get a first point of view effect. Okay guys, let's get into the most interesting part of the gimbal, which is the AI vision sensor built into the gimbal itself. To use the gesture control, turn on the gimbal, then press the button on the top. Whenever you're ready for smart tracking to begin, just make an okay gesture and the gimbal will track your face. To stop auto tracking, just show your palm. Like I've mentioned in the beginning, this feature is useful since it doesn't require you to use an app. This means you can use it for live streaming, video calls, 
and vlogging. The AI vision sensor does a better job of tracking the subject than using the included app that comes with most gimbals. It responds quickly with low latency and even finds the subject again if lost. Another way you can use the AI vision sensor is to change the rotation of the phone. So to enter landscape mode, just point your thumbs upwards and to change to portrait mode, just have your thumbs point to the right. The Home iSteady V2 smartphone gimbal also has a video LED light built in next to the phone clamp to better light yourself when vlogging, for example. The light is adjustable between three brightness levels. So I'm now gonna walk you through the Home Pro app and show you all of its features so that you can use it in creative ways. Keep in mind that when using the gimbal for the first time, you will have to sign up in the Home Pro app in order to use it. So make sure to do that first. So let's open the Home app. And as you can see, it automatically connects to my iPhone. I can just select start to enter the live viewer. So starting at the top left, you can see that the Bluetooth sign is on. You also have the battery life uh, of the phone and the battery life of the gimbal and the current gimbal mode you're in. So right now it's in pan tilt follow mode. To the left, you have uh, the house icon, which brings you back to the home menu. Below you have the flash mode, which is currently off, but I can set it on um, in auto, but I usually leave it off. The camera icon allows you to switch between the front and the selfie camera. So below you have different tracking options. You can either select um, face tracking, which will track my face as you can see. And it does a pretty good job, but the smart tracking that is built in the smartphone does a way better job than using the app. Now you can also select object tracking and we're now gonna switch to the front facing camera and I'm gonna track this plant right here. And as you can see, it tracks it. Let's now move on to the settings icon. On top, I can select different resolution up to 4K 60 frames per second. And I also have grid. I usually leave that uh, on. So I'm gonna select grid. You also have diagonal. Uh, which is great if you create hyperlapse, for example. But I like using grid to better set my composition. And you also have a timer. Um, you can select up to five seconds. So you also have professional mode, which allows you to set your camera settings manually. So I have exposure value. Um, I have ISO that I can change. I have white balance, which is currently set to auto but if I want to, I can set it to daylight, for example. You can also select the different cameras you have. So I have the front camera currently on, but if I switch to the front facing camera, I can select the telephoto lens, the wide camera and all of that. Now you can also change the gimbal settings. So for example, I can uh, select different working mode, currently set to pan, tilt, follow, but I can also set it to pan, follow, all lock, or POV, but I can also change these settings using the buttons. So let's head back. Uh, follow speed can also be changed to slow, medium, or fast. You can also use the joystick to either pan left or right, or you can select roll, and when adjusting the joystick, it starts doing these roll movements. And if you ever need to auto calibrate your gimbal, you can just head over here and then do the calibration. Below are just some information uh, about your gimbal. So below you have the ZF, Z stands for zoom. So when selecting it, I can zoom ching all the way in. And then you have focus, because I'm using the selfie camera, I can use focus, but when changing to the rear camera, I can actually change the focus, as you can see. On the top right, you have different filters. So you can either select the beauty filter, which makes it look super beautiful. Milk, vanilla, and all of that, but I keep it at original. So below you have the hands icon, which is gesture control. So when selecting that, I can just show high five and it will start tracking me and start a video. And this can be very useful for vlogging, for example. 
And to the very bottom right, I have my media library. So let's now look at some of the special features that the Home Pro app offers. So to the very right side, let's first start with time-lapse. And basically you can set a spot. So I'm gonna start with this one. And then you can move the camera to set your second spot. For example, right here. And I'm gonna press the plus button. And once I'm ready, I can put in the shutter value and set the time of how long the time-lapse should be. And once I'm done, I'm gonna select start and it's gonna do the time-lapse for me. As you can see, it's moving and creating the time-lapse. And once I'm done, I can press the stop button and I can preview the time-lapse, which is cool. So next you have photo, which is taking pictures. And last you have moments, which has different built-in templates. And once I press start, it's gonna do the inception mode for me. So I'm gonna select it and I don't have to think about it. It's gonna do everything for me. You can also select fantastic rotation, um, which does some freestyling rotation with some music. You have panoramic video, then you have smart motion time-lapse, which is similar to the time-lapse mode. And then you have dolly zoom for making your videos look more dramatic. Then you have dynamic, which creates different gimbal moves for you and pieces all of the footage together. You have lucky, which is similar to dynamic, um, but just has a different style of movement and also pieces the footage together. So that was the Hoem Pro app. Really not that complicated. I think they did a really good job at keeping things simple and the interface is quite intuitive. It really didn't take me that long to understand all of its functions. Now, in terms of performance, this gimbal operates very smoothly. It has throw motors that can easily handle the iPhone 12 Pro Max. When using the ultra wide angle lens, I had no issues with the motors blocking the frame. The gimbal did a great job of stabilizing the footage and at no point did I have any problems using it. The battery lasts up to nine hours, which is more than enough for my shooting needs. Needs. When using the AI, it lasts up to four hours and using the AI with the LED light will last up to two hours. What's great is that the battery can also be used to charge your smartphone during operations in case your phone battery starts running low. So you can effectively use the gimbal as a power bank for your phone. To charge the gimbal, it takes around 2.5 hours. Moving on to the price, the Home iSteady V2 is priced at 129 US dollars, which I think is fair considering it's feature, especially the smart tracking hardware that doesn't require an app. So here are my final thoughts to using this gimbal. I will first start with the cons. First is not being able to turn the AI vision sensor and LED light to use it with the rear camera. You could place the iPhone differently, but it will partly block the screen. Second is not the included Apple lightning adapter. Since it works with iOS and Android, it would have been great if they also included the Apple lightning adapter to charge the iPhone. Third is not having the option to add counterweights. For those that use add-on lenses, depending on how heavy the lens is, the maximum payload is 0.4 kilograms. The gimbal might not able to balance it out. Moving on to the pros, first is the built-in smart tracking AI sensor. This is one of the key features of the Home iSteady V2. I personally don't like using apps that come with the gimbal as I solely rely on native camera app or Filmic Pro since since it produces the best results in terms of image quality. What's great about the AI vision sensor is that the automatic face tracking features does not require an app. Therefore, I can use it with any third-party video app such as Filmic Pro. Not only that, but I can also use it to make online calls using Skype, for example. Second is the folding design that allows for easy storage. It is so small that it fits into my pocket. Third are the strong gimbal motors that can easily support the iPhone 12 Pro Max, resulting in smoother, stable footage, making my videos look more professional. I can even use it with the Light Chaser Pro case and add a variable ND filter for a more cinematic look. 
All right, guys, that was it. That was my review on the Home iSteady V2 smartphone gimbal. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this awesome gimbal. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Now, I also have a private smartphone filmmaking group that you can be a part of to share your work and also get feedback from others. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.